What is up YouTubers? Today we are going to share our experience with this product here. Well, it's just me, so I am going to share with you my experience with this product here. Now, microbe lift used to be in a different container that looked like this. This was an awesome container. It had a little doser on there. We're going to show you how that works in a second. If you have one of these old containers, make sure you keep that around when you buy the new container so you can reuse this container. Before we get into this video, I have some previous shots to show you, so we'll jump to that right now. Okay, in the previous video, we talked about Koi Works product called Water Clear for ponds. Um, it wasn't a bad product, it's just that that product, for the size of pond I had, it took half of one of those containers. So cost effective wise for me, it didn't really work out to, to use. I already used Koi Works bacteria product and that was just another bacteria to add to the pond probably the same stuff in a, a higher dose i got a lot of plants in this pond there's a lot of part particles from the breakdown of these plants that get into the pond also with it being super warm and sunny whoa it's windy even though it's really windy it is warm and sunny i get a lot of algae bloom happening in the pond which is good it's not a bad thing uh, the plants will help to get rid of that. With this product though, it doesn't require as much of the container. It is more expensive for this product to buy this container. There's more in this container, but it also takes less product to dose the pond. And it's not using the bacteria. This one's using concentrated barley extract. What I have found is, and you're gonna see here in this video, Using that bacteria from Koi Works and this in combination, I have a lot of success in, in getting a really good looking pond. What do you want, cat? What do you want, you big fatty? If you want to check out what this is gonna look like, go ahead and stay tuned and we're gonna show you. I'm gonna dose it now. So basically, for my size pond, I'm gonna need about three and a half ounces three and a half ounces for a 5,000 gallon pond and that's plenty so all I do is open that lid take that lid off there squeeze it until I get to the ounce and then I dump that into the pond additionally that's one ounce in the pond I'll put one ounce in my intake bay of my pump I'm also gonna do one ounce in the upper bog filter. And then uh, my last half ounce, I'll just do that in this lower bog filter. So we're just gonna come back in a couple days and see what this looks like. All right, 
guys, there is not a big noticeable difference here between uh, two days and pre-adding. Still a decent amount of particulates floating around, but maybe a little bit less. see a little bit more of a noticeable difference here from this shot. So this is two days later. Notice you can see the rock a little bit better on the bottom of the pond. It's about two feet deep right there. It's not exactly fair because we had overcast the first day I shot this and so you see a little bit of glare from the clouds. But it's a noticeable difference to me. Now we're looking at Four days later, just a little bit more of a noticeable gravel at the bottom of the pond. You can start seeing some of the pots that the plants are in. At seven days later, it's a definite, definite noticeable difference. Easily see the bottom, you can't even tell how deep the pond is because it's so clear. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell. Lots of cool videos to come.